Hey guys, Joe from Lawn Solutions Australia here. Now is a great time to get your lawn mower in good condition, ready for the growing months ahead. Here's Andrew from the Unidera Mower Centre with some expert tips on how to get your mower in top condition for spring. Alright, thanks Joe. Um, now that you've just pulled your mower out to get started for spring, first thing you need to do is check out your fuel. Um, so important. Um, so, it doesn't smell too bad, but the thing you've got to consider, about three months is getting too old for your fuel. Um, so, the best thing you can do is kick off with fresh fuel and uh, make sure it's 95 octane. It has to be. Don't use anything less. The next thing to check is uh, your air filter. Obviously very, very important. And um, this guy has not been looked at for quite some time. So, obviously, when you compare against a new air filter, you can kind of see that the air just ain't going to be getting through there and this poor little engine ain't going to be too happy. Okay guys, next thing is uh, your spark plug. Now, some people have trouble finding them. Basically, if you look for that big black rubber lead and there's going to be some sort of a big rubbery cap, pop him off. There we go. Get him out of the way. Get your plug spanner and um, get that one undone. Now, as you can see, that's not the best looking plug in the world when you compare that to a new one. So um, obviously that one's had its day. So we'll just pop him in, wind the hole up, and be very gentle not to cross thread that because it's very, very important. Now, nip him up. Now, just nip it, and that's it. All you need to do, make sure you get that cap back on just nicely, and you should just feel it pop on, just like that. Happy days. Uh, next thing is your oil. Uh, it's a must to go and check your oil. As we always say, oil is an engine's best friend. So, minimum, you really want to be changing your oil about once a year. So, best to do it just before the start of the season. Get yourself a container. Now kick it up and then try not to spill it. So there she goes. Oil normally, depending on the brand of the oil, it's either going to be a, a red colour, which is quite common, or like a it almost looks like honey, like a, a nice clean oil. But um, that's that's really burnt. It's a real dirty black. It's not nice. Next thing you need to check is um, check out your blades. It makes a hell of a difference to the, the cutting quality of the lawn. Now, if you ever want to look under your mower, really important when you've got a four-stroke mower, two strokes is not going to worry you, but four-stroke mowers, the only way you ever want to have a look under your mower is you need to do a wheelie. So just kick it back. Never throw it on their sides or on its nose because you'll get oil, come out of your engine, go right up through your motor. First thing it does is block the air filter and no go. All right, guys, um, the cutting edge of the blade is this leading edge here. Um, as you can see, like, as I said, this one's not too bad, but you know, it's a bit roughed up but that's what you're looking at when you compare it to a new one. Like, it's not a super duper sharp edge by any means, but it's just, you know, something nice and consistent. But, um, and that little kick back here, that just helps lift the grass and throws it into the chute. That's what they refer to as a high lift blade. But, um, but these blades are, they're quite reasonable. But um, if you ever see damage, like one blade shorter than the other, or there's a chunk missing out of one, things like that, that's gonna throw the disc out of balance. It's spinning at high speed and um, it'll create a lot of shaking and vibration and wobble in the mower and the thing will literally sit on the floor and skip sideways. If you do need to change a blade, um, you may be able to do it at home, but it's pretty difficult. But what you need to do is remove that one bolt, that will remove the blade disc, and then each four blades has got its own uh, bolt and bolt and nut. Now getting them undone is generally pretty difficult and um, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna do it without a rattle gun. So, um, Generally speaking, it's probably best to just bring it into your local uh, mower guy and yeah, we can get sorted out for you a lot easier. All right, Joe, um, that's pretty well it. Um, you should be pretty well right for the season now. Um, your mower should be happy and so should you. So that's um, it's Andrew from Unidero Mowers. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Andrew. Some great tips there. A lawnmower in top condition will ensure your lawn gets a nice clean haircut and remains healthy and strong throughout the warmer months. Check out the Lawn Solutions Australia webpage for more helpful lawn care tips and advice.